Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So this is another Myers-Briggs video and today I'm talking about INTJ. <laughs> So I love INTJs, we get along so well, and it's because we both have really high extroverted thinking, so we just communicate in such a similar way. I'm gonna talk a lot about the functions in this video, I know that in my ISTP video I didn't as much, so if you have not heard of the functions, what I mean is introverted sensing, extroverted sensing, introverted intuition, extroverted intuition, and then introverted extroverted feeling and thinking, so there are eight functions, and I'm gonna link below two different articles talking about the functions if you're confused and have never heard of them but just go look up what your type is and what your functions are and then you'll be able to kind of follow along the video better and understand it their extroverted thinking which is their second function is very kind of almost action oriented extroverted thinking is very into analytical logic and needs to be able to apply to everyone I'm not saying that everyone who's an introverted thinker is relativistic but kind of I was a philosophy major in college and in our analytical philosophy department there were so many INTJs and they're just very attracted to philosophy because analytical philosophy is extroverted thinking. It's a black and white logic that applies to everyone. As an ESTJ, I just get along with them so well because I love debating and arguing. Like it's so fun and I think that to me, I love arguing to arguing. I just think it's so fun and I think that I can be very draining to an INTJ because they really care about the ideas more than, like for me, I just love debating people and I also care about the ideas, but I and TJ like really, really care about the ideas. But extroverted thinking is very much towards getting things done in the external world. And so I think that in a work situation, ESTJs and INTJs are on the same page where we have a really high work ethic and we wanna put our ideas into action. The thing is though, ESTJs are more impulsive and I would rather, just try a ton of things and mess up and just keep trying and trying again whereas an INTJ doesn't want to act until they know everything and what's going to happen. But I think that although INTJs are seen as like really good leaders they don't tend to assert themselves into those positions as much. My dad is a teacher at our church and he's a professor as well. He was a missionary. He's gone to grad school for theology so you know he's really he's trained in all of this but at a new church he's not going to just assert himself and be like I want to lead this class class it's something where it's almost like he has to be asked or it'll like take a while for him to step up into that role whereas as an ESTJ I will just immediately assert myself into leadership positions and so this is something else where the INTJ is so sad a lot and pessimistic and negative and unhappy because they have all these ideas and they're less assertive and bold in putting them into action and like they well put them into action but I just find that when you're dealing with like a ton of people who you have to interact with to get things done, the INTJ is less likely to act and then it's like they're sad. And so my thing as an ESTJ is like I'm always happy because if I want to do something, I do it. Whereas the INTJ will hold back. So in my videos about ISTPs, I talked about how they hate the system and they don't want to be part of the system. They're very judgmental and critical of any sort of societal structure and of laws. And INTJs can almost seem the same just because they're perfectionists about things and they want excellence and when they see someone doing something wrong inefficiently they hate it they critique it they want to change but they don't want to get rid of the system INTJs want to be in charge of the system they want to make it amazing they want to make our education system and our churches and our laws they want to make them run so well and they love the system but because they don't have extroverted feeling they're not going to be critiquing it in a really nice way that makes it seem like they love the system ENFJs are really interesting because they also have introverted intuition like INTJs and extroverted feeling so ENFJs and INTJs are both very innovative and creative in their ideas in a work situation, but ENFJs are going to be the really like encouraging, motivational, empowering leader, whereas the INTJs are just gonna be like, okay, like this is wrong, we should change this. They're not gonna do it in like a really like encouraging way, but they have really, really, really amazing ideas. So INTJs can be really rebellious and they can break laws, but it's not because they hate the system, it's just because the system is wrong. INTJs just see their home environment or their workplace and they see how it could be and how it should be. And because they have extroverted thinking, it's a black and white kind of logic that applies to everyone. 
And so if they see how it should be and they explain it to you, then you keep messing up or you keep being inefficient or being lazy, they're just gonna immediately lose respect for you. So as an ESTJ, when it comes to the structure of a workplace or the government or anything, I'm really into authority and like respecting authority. INTJ, they don't like the authority unless it can be backed up by logic. And so they'll go against what the person in charge is saying if they know what is right. Whereas as an ESTJ, I'm more likely to kind of like go by tradition and like blindly follow. As someone who doesn't have extroverted feeling, I, I don't understand the concept of like sugarcoating and not hurting people and all that. Like I've worked so hard to make that a part of who I am, but it's so incredibly unnatural. And so around INTJs, I can just be myself. I don't have to sugarcoat things and say things in an indirect way. Like you can just be very blunt to an INTJ if you're in a work situation and they're doing something wrong. INTJs are not gonna get personally offended or feel insecure because they disconnect kind of like what they're doing from themselves, if that makes sense. I think that it's really difficult being an INTJ because they're constantly seeing how things could change and how they could be better, but I think that sometimes they're not the best at implementing them. Like I know as an ESTJ, when I want something or when I want to say something or do something, I do it. I don't hold back. I'm not scared of confronting people at all. Whereas the INTJ is less confrontational than the ESTJ. So an example is when I walk into a store and I can't find a product, I will immediately ask for help. Whereas the INTJ is not going to ask for help. In any sort of people situation, the INTJ is just going to be less confrontational. And so I think that for them, it can be really, really frustrating and they can become very pessimistic because they see how things should be and what they want, but they're not as capable as ESTJs of putting those ideas into action. So I think that ideally, ESTJs, ISTJs, INTJs, and ENTJs just need to like work together and create society. And I think that that is essentially what has happened. But I think with INTJs, I just see them and all of their ideas and I wanna help put them into action because they're really great ideas. So INTJs can be really prideful and they can come across as that, but I think that it's warranted because I think INTJs should be in charge. They have the best ideas and they're just really effective as leaders and as creators. And so I think that if you're an extrovert, or you're just a more assertive person and you're in a work situation or a group project or in a home environment or at a church with an INTJ, you should really, really empower them and push them towards leadership and just ask them what they're thinking and help them to put their ideas into action. Because I think sometimes they're not assertive enough to put their ideas into action. A lot of times they are if they've developed themselves all the way, but I just think sometimes the INTJ can be overshadowed by other types that are more personable who aren't as competent at getting things done in an excellent way. And this is like why I think Myers-Briggs is so cool because it's like we need all of the types together. I think that INTJ have the most amazing ideas and then ENFJ can talk to them and be like super super empowering and give like a motivational speech to get everyone on board and then ESTP work ethic is also like really really incredible and then ESTJ I can help like detail oriented put INTJ's visions into action. So that was everything for my INTJ video. Make sure to watch my other Myers-Briggs videos in the playlist in the description and I love you guys so much. Bye!